Hello and welcome back guys to another episode of Dot Hack Infection. As we turned on the console, see that we got some more mail. One from Helba, who we've met her before. She talked to, uh, the, the, what's her name? What's his name? Uh, Balmung before. And, yeah. She's telling us now that basically all the monsters in the entire game are infected with a virus, but some of the viruses are just not uh, out of the incubation period. So then they're not data bugs yet. But what is affecting all of the data? That's what we're going to find out at some point in time. Don't know when, but at some point in time we should. Then it's going over like what you can find in the certain servers. Like A, B, and C. There'll be other ones that you can find later, obviously. But you get what I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, more news. Oh, there's a what is it? A fitting simulator? Yeah. There. It, it, it shows you what you could look like or what fitting you would need. Um, fiber optics. We're getting that now as well. Even though this is set in. 2013? I remember. I know it said it at the beginning, I don't remember now. Um, at some point. We're actually getting uh, pretty much what they have here, besides the ultimate uh, OS, but... On um, the Wonderhawk, that's a reference to the Wander Swan, which they say and they mention here. If you don't know what the Wonder Swan is, um, Google it. It was a thing from uh, I want to say Sony. Yeah, I'm actually gonna look that up. Wonder Swan. Um, it was a handheld game that had like, oh, it is from Bandai. Um, it was from Bandai then. Um, but had like PlayStation 2, not PlayStation 2, had like, uh, had some fancy ones like, uh, I know there was one for Final Fantasy and stuff like that. Anyway, going back to this, we have another play tag. Oh wait, we don't. We don't have another play tag, we got that last time. But, there are people that are going... Or, or people that are obviously mentioning or losing it's just the board some of it is like say like this which is just supposed to be kind of aesthetic stuff trying to make the game feel more like it's an MMO um, just like this you don't really need to know that that doesn't affect what you play it's just like this um, about the Wonder Hawk and the Wonder Swan you know only things that you really need on the boards that would be relevant to the game are anything that would give you uh, quests. We meet again. Well, it appears that you know Orca. N know him? He is the one who invited me to come here and play this game. Yeah, you then jerk. I must ask. I have not been able to contact him since that event. What has become of him? Do you trust me? What you say will determine. Well, you better. Because I'm right, and you're not. I see. How much of that is true, I do not know. But do not dare to forget that bracelet's power is the same as the one that placed Orca into a coma. Yeah, I know. I don't have to be reminded of it. You don't have time to get depressed. Well, hello, Helba. Who are you? A friend. Or perhaps a foe. <laughs> a meddler with a warning. You sent that email? Helba? That aside, I must warn you. Beware of Leos. Leos? Leos is on the side of the system. With that bracelet, you'll be treated as a virus. Also, you need this. Virus core, oh, get! 
How does she know, Red? Because she's awesome. Imagine. Like I said, someone is always watching you. Hold on. Why are you helping me? Helping you? <laughs> Who knows? You might be the one helping me. Dun dun dun. Take care, little boy. So that was basically our second introduction to Helba. I mean, we met her before when she was talking to Balmung, but we didn't really know who she was and what she knows. But anyway, last time we fought a boss and lost a lot of supplies, so we're going to restock and basically try. Your name is Waffle? Your name is. Get out of here. I don't want to trade with you. And Yucky. Yucky and Waffle. <sighs> a lot of the stuff here, uh, you're starting to outlevel anything that they're going to have. I mean, there's occasions that they have very high equipment that you probably won't be able to trade for because it's far out of your league. But any of the weapons, you're basically outleveling them. I have the level 9 weapons and we'll have those for a while until we go to another server. And then possibly even more after that. Wind Axe looks very, very tempting. Also, the Absorber. Um, actually, if you could find this one weapon, it'll be very, very helpful for uh, Black Rose. Um, the Absorber has an extra effect on it where, if you've played League of Legends, where it's got lifesteal, um, essentially it is that. You, uh, for every hit that she does, she'll get some health back, which is good to have on basically any weapon, because that means a lot less healing. Um, weapons in the later part of the game, well, not necessarily this game, but later part levels higher up will have several effects on them, or can have several effects on them. Most of them will be legendary weapons, which you'd have to do a small quest for, which would also be an extras usually after you beat the game or something like that. Which, I'm not saying that there are extras in between each game, but there, uh, yeah. About now is the time where you should, uh, start, uh, I don't know, selling or storing some of the weapons that you have. As you see up at the top, you have 99 slots in the, uh, the storing area, but you only have 40 slots that you can carry unique items in your inventory. So that means you want to constantly be shifting them around, or if they're being outclassed like here, then just getting rid of them in general. You also make a good amount of money from them. I have a question for you guys for uh, forums and stuff like that. I, I'm for the company Octave Eight that that me and my friend Peregrine Muon are trying to set up. We're wondering whether we should actually do just a forums or whether we should do uh, um, something else. And I actually finally found the key items. I don't know why I didn't before, but I found them there. Um, we also got the Rio Book One last time, so. Why don't we see what it does? And actually, I know what it does, but we'll show all of you. Yeah, throw that book away from you. This will actually, uh, uh, depending on what the current Ryu book, not spoiling that there are multiple of them, but there are multiple of them, um, which you can get during various data drains and stuff like that. Or, yeah. 
but they'll have something particular to do with your game. Uh, like that one was Playtime and Chaos Gate, so it keeps records, and for all those that are, know the series, they will uh, eventually give rewards based on what, uh, doing particular tasks, or doing something so many times. Anyway, going to Detestable Golden Messenger for game number two of Tag. Try me! Janu the Gobbler! One of the four Gob Kings! You look exactly like the other one. Now this guy is slightly faster, but basically the best way to catch them is one, use your skills, and two, to have good accuracy, and three, to kind of... They'll always try to run around in a circle, basically. Just stay on the inside edge of them, because they'll have to turn into you at some point in time. And you saw that there was a lot of Ono Melons. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of those, because Ono Melons are awesome. Because they're... yeah. I mean, there are, are lots and lots of Ono Melons on these fields. For some reason, I can't get that one, so screw it. And you can also use a speed charm here, which may help. Um, as you can see there, he will just come close to you when you're out of battle mode um, and stand next to you. Mon Joe Jau Janu Janu Janu. That's what it is. But yeah. By the way, get used to hearing Tiger Claws a lot. We're going to keep the weapon a lot. So. We'll be hearing Tiger Claws! A lot. Beating Stahane wasn't exactly a fluke. I can't believe I lost! I can tell the pizza in 20 seconds! How about you? And we get a goblin mail, which will go with our goblin cat. Anyway, for the last couple minutes of this, I'm basically just going to catch or getting Ono Melons and Symbols. Um, so I'm basically going to leave you, so if you want to watch the rest of it, good for you. But if not, I'll see you later. Secret Easter egg for all of you that actually made it all the way to the end. Type in the comments section, I like oranges. See you later. <laughs>